All right, so I think we should talk about a project that we're pretty proud about. It's a recent development that we got a terrific permit for it. But you know, what's behind that permit? How do you get that permit? You know, it's very hard to maximize a property uh, and to run it all the way through to, to a successful outcome. But there's a lot of steps involved and you, and you gotta get it right. Uh, the first thing obviously is um, making sure that that site can be developed fully. So, you know, doing a good study of the property for the client before they buy it. Um, and making sure everything can stack up, then designing it uh, with a great team of staff, um, and then running it through council, negotiating hard with council can be a, a really stressful, drawn out process. Um, but we're really, really wrapped with this project that we stuck to our guns. We didn't negotiate um, to a point where it affects the outcome for the client detrimentally. And yeah, it's a really, really good project um, in Hadfield, which eventually will be built, and we, we can't wait to see it constructed. This particular site was a challenging site for all of us. The client came and approached us and had the intentions of provide or wanting to achieve 14 units as a total. Uh, when Adrian and myself looked at this site and did further investigation, we identified that there was a possibility of maybe increasing those numbers from 14 to 16. And 16 was probably the, the key factor um, for us. And we, we felt that looking at the planning scheme, looking at all the policies from council, uh, looking at all the guidelines, we felt that we could really achieve 16 and really push its boundaries and um, you know, take every opportunity of this site. You know, and also being mindful of the adjoining neighbours and making sure that we're being respectful to them, um, not, not creating any overshadowing to adjoining neighbours. Uh, there are other sites within the area of a similar uh, dimension of site um, where they've achieved 14. You know, and that's, that's pretty easy to, to just you know, have a look at someone else's success and say, well, 14 is what they've done. But Beyond Design Group like to push the boundaries and we've taken that opportunity and we've made a 14 unit site into a 16 unit site. And I suppose that's where we stand out from the rest.